So today I have what hopefully is really cool unboxing or unbagging and it's from a brand called Volaback and I haven't seen too many kind of reviews of these products on YouTube so hopefully uh, these will be useful for at least a few people considering buying these products. So let's open this up. It looks like maybe Customs has already opened it. No need for the knife, but anyway, it's a ZT, wrist check, Breitling. So, there are, they come in these cool bags. Um, there are three products. There is doesn't say what it is actually. I'm guessing this is the t-shirt. So I ordered a t-shirt and a jacket and um, hoodie. So I'll start with the t-shirt. This is a, it's meant to be a ceramic. It's called the Ceramic Volaback t-shirt. And it's meant to be highly durable, almost indestructible. Wow. Feels really weird compared to other ones. So here's the t-shirt. Just do it a bit closer. It's meant to be made from like loads of ceramic particles or something. It feels really weird to touch. It's meant to be highly durable. It's very stretchy and uh, resistant to abrasions. So if I was describing what it felt like, I would say Feels like one of those Nike or Adidas kind of running, running t-shirts. It's quite stretchy. So I'll probably do, I think these products deserve kind of individual reviews. So I'll take them out of the bags and then do separate reviews. This one is the second smallest. I'm guessing it's the 100 year hoodie. <clears throat> it's nice, jacket. So this is what the Volaback call the, just turn the light on, get rid of that shadow. Uh, 100 year, sorry, not the 100 year, the indestructible jacket. So it's made from something called Dyneema. Dyneema is, uh, on the website they say it's 15 times stronger than steel and it's used for things like, um, you know, bulletproof vests, uh, armoring doors on aircrafts, uh, used for mooring, uh, large container ships because it's because of its high strength and very lightweight uh, kind of properties. So let's open that up. So it feels weird it's uh how to describe it? it feels like a mixture of between denim and sackcloth really uh, it'd be interesting to see how resistant this is i'll do it, put it through some paces and maybe try burning it's meant to be fire resistant a bit so uh it's meant to have lots of hidden pockets so i'll do a do a proper review of that another time overall Probably the weirdest feeling jacket I own. And finally, we have the 100 year hoodie. So 100 year hoodie, this is meant to be the, I think it's the third iteration that they have. This version one came out, I think 2017, and they've made quite a few changes. So obviously by the name implies, it's meant to be you know, something that lasts you 100 years. Wow, feels very heavy duty. So this is meant to be fire resistant, water resistant, and um, geez, these pretty heavy duty um, hood pulls.
So you can see here, these zips look like they're kind of waterproof. I think there's four pockets. Yeah, they're kind of split into four pockets. It's meant to be made of three different, just a light up a bit, three different uh, layers. So there's kind of a fire resistant layer, the middle one is like the waterproof layer, and then you've got kind of a fleece inside. So, I'll just open that up. Yeah, so inside it's like a, a soft lined fleece. It feels very durable. Um, it doesn't feel, it's soft, but it feels, it's hard to describe what it feels like. It feels almost like a bit, like a tough wetsuit. Anyway, um, very cool products. And I'll uh, review all three of them, spend a bit of time using them and uh, them through the paces. Now to see if they fit. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Any questions, let me know.